Welcome back, weirdos. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I'm so glad you're here. We're going to do something super fun today. It is not often I hop on a nail trend, but this is one that I saw and I could not say no. So here's a couple of the things we're going to use. I'm going to do a base of clear dip powder. You super don't have to. You can do this right on your natural nails, but my nails are super thin and break easily. So I'm going to do dip powder on my natural nail, and then we're going to use some gels and we're gonna do this super cool what they call a pool water manicure oh my gosh wait till you guys see it it's absolutely so much fun uh, as mentioned i'm going to start off with a dip powder process if you guys have seen this a million times feel free to fast forward if you're new here hi i'm marla chris i do nail content twice a week every week on my channel Feel free to subscribe if you'd like to stick around. I would love to have you. And if you like this video while you're watching, you can go ahead and give it a thumbs up. It actually really helps out my channel. So this is the TikTok that I saw. I love this creator so much. She inspires me literally every time I watch her. And I could not wait to try this out. So this is what we're going to do today. And as mentioned, you can do this design over anything you want. You can do it over dip powder, acrylic, builder gel, whatever you want to do, poly gel, whatever you want to put on your natural nails or just your natural nail if you're confident enough to do that. <laughs> My nails will chip and break if I don't have acrylic on them because I have naturally very thin nails, but you have complete freedom to do with whatever you want. I'm going to go ahead and get just a couple layers of clear. I'm only going to show you one on camera, but I'm going to do two full layers of clear. I'm going to activate, file, and buff, and then we're going to get right into this nail art. Oh my God, it's so much fun. So I went ahead and did all my filing shaping buffing. It was super minimal because it's just a couple layers of clear. If you want to see a more detailed video on how I do my dip powder application, I'll make sure to leave that up in the cards for you to check out. But let's get right into the nail art. The base of this design is going to be a jelly blue. But because I don't have a jelly blue, I'm going to make one. And how I'm going to do that is I'm going to take a tiny amount of the blue that I do have and mix it with a good amount of gel base coat. Then I'm going to just mix it together and that will create a jelly blue. And I'm going to do two full coats on all of the nails, carrying each coat for 30 seconds in my LED UV lamp. I'll make sure to leave everything linked down below, including my lamp, which is like my baby. I love this lamp so much. If you know, you know, if you're a potato go, for what? <laughs> if you're a potato girl, please let me know. Okay, so we're going to get two full coats of the gel polish on, curing as mentioned for 30 seconds, and then we're going to move on to the next step.
So this is where the magic is gonna start to happen. The next thing you need is a milky white, a more like transparent type milky white. I don't have a milky white that I think was transparent enough for me. So I'm gonna take some of my white gel polish and do the same thing that I did with the blue. I'm gonna mix in some of my gel base coat and create that milky semi-transparent white that I'm gonna put on top of the blue. I'm gonna get this on the nail I did a little experimentation before off camera because I wasn't sure how this was gonna work, especially on shorter nails. Every time I see a gorgeous nail art design, it's always on a long nail and I'm like, can I even do this on short nails or is it gonna look ridiculous? But I think it came out super cute and super fun. So as mentioned, I did a little playing around off camera and now I'm gonna show you what I did. We're going to apply the milky white right over top of the blue and it's gonna look like you made a mistake but you're not. I promise it's going to all come together. We're not going to cure this. Not yet. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take my dotting tool and some of that clear gel base coat and start dotting on the milky white and it will start to create what look like bubble effects right on the nail. This is so freaking cool and satisfying. If you guys remember that bubble nail trend from a couple of years ago, I hated it because I hate texture on the nail. This is another way you can kind of do a bubble nail effect without that texture all over the nail. And you can make these bubbles as large or as small as you want. You don't even need to use a dotting tool. You can use your base brush or whatever you have on hand but this is all we're gonna do. And once you're happy with the bubbles, you're gonna wanna cure it because kind of like blossom gel, if you've used that before, then you know, once you let this sit for a minute, the bubbles will continue to expand, get bigger and spread. So once you're happy with it, you definitely wanna cure it for at least 30 seconds. Then I'm gonna move on to the next nail. Yes, this is one you're gonna wanna do one nail at a time. That way your bubbles don't get too big, unless you want them that way, in which case, you know, party on Wayne. Party on Wayne. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my pinky nail, get them cured, and then we're gonna top coat and be done. So I went ahead and cured my top coat for a full minute, got up, washed my hands, and this is the finished look. How much fun is this? It's giving summertime in the pool, total mermaid vibes. I love this look so much. And I think it looks so cute on my short little nublets, as I call them. I hope you guys found this fun, entertaining, something. <laughs> I hope the rest of your day is as beautiful as you are, and I will catch you in the next one. Love you, bye.